Morning. I see the media are still here. Yeah, it pushes a lot of buttons, this one. It certainly pushes mine. Any news? His condition deteriorated overnight. Mm. Oh, is that a croissant? Um, yes. You know, if I was to take that off you, I'd be doing your arteries a favour. Oh, she's so nice. PC Jasmine Dejani, this is Dr. Reed. Uh, Emma. Heard a lot about you from the lads. That's worrying. No, you're their favourite FME. Mm. Go on, I miss breakfast. <laughs> I'm afraid you don't get around me that easily. <laughs> so, any leads, anything on CCTV? Camera failure on the street where the incident occurred. And no witnesses so far. On the plus, Psychic Sue's been on the phone. Apparently, the driver lives near water. Yeah, time wasters. Now, you won't be saying that when the lottery numbers she gave me come up. Laughs at her own jokes? Yeah, someone has to. <laughs> so you said that the boy's condition had deteriorated? He's in a coma. Roberts! Talking of time wasters? Just the man. Morning, Ted. I heard about the appeal, and I'm volunteering for the ban hunt. Until the pub's open. We don't need any help, thanks. Ah. And I'm sober as a judge, I'll have you know. Oh, and who's this vision of beauty? <laughs> Dr. Emma Reed. Sergeant Ted Dawes, at your disposal. Retired. Ah, uh, uh, what have you done to your hand? Oh, it's all right. I just, uh, I did it when I was blood all last night. I just put a plaster on it. I think that needs more than a plaster. Do you, do you mind if I take a look? Aye. Unless there's anything you need me to do? Seeing as it's you, Ted, but then on your bike, yeah? After you? Better look after that. <gasps> Seriously? Can't have you going hungry on the beat. Oh. And you didn't see a car driving away. Sorry, excuse me. Do any of you even care? Oh, just get, get started. You oh. crazy. And lady. you think that's appropriate sort of language to use, do you? <laughs> What's going on? Thank goodness, officer. I am on the receiving end of the most pernicious of verbal abuse. Well, I could hear you from over there, madam, but I couldn't hear anyone else. Are you a local resident? Well, I, I was defending myself. Yes, do you live here? I was here to pay my respects to the little boy who's been injured. Right, well, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I think the residents have been through enough, don't you? I was trying to help. But whatever your intentions, you're creating a public disorder. I am doing nothing of the sort. I want your name and number, young lady. I intend to speak to your superior. Fine. Well, you can come with me to the station. I'm not going anywhere with you. I'm arresting you for disorderly behaviour. Oh, get your hands off me! Get the car! Oh. Are you sure you're OK? Can I please say it was a drug dealer and not some old bint with a massive handbag? <laughs> no, because there are witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. You've got to go and examine her. <laughs> oh, I think I've cracked a rib. Oh, I doubt it. Oh. You might have a sore head, though. <laughs> I'm seeing stars. <laughs> are you? No. <laughs> but you're making me blush. Back to work. Yeah. Thanks, Doc. I hear you got a result. Potentially, although it's thanks to the old guard more than us. Old guard? Ted. Oh, and we've had good news from the hospital. Wesley's out of a coma. Mm. Oh, that is good news. Mm. Do you have a second, Sarge? Yeah, excuse me. Did you get the horn? 
Um, <clears throat> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks again for earlier. No great bedside manner. Oh, wow. I am to please. Mm. Sounds promising. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh. Should be well enough to give a statement in the morning. Mm. Night. Gosh, I didn't recognise you out of a uniform. I thought you'd left ages ago. Keeping tabs on me? No, of course not. <laughs> so, are you doing anything nice this evening? No, no, I'm knackered. Long day. Me too. Yeah. But for nothing. I wouldn't say that. So, am I reading the signals right? Signals? I, um, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Fancy going for a drink sometime, assuming I'm not barking up the wrong tree. You're not. But it would be a bit weird, wouldn't it? Going on a date with a colleague and... You're quite a bit younger. Well, there's only one way to find out. Hmm? Well? Um... Yes, I'd love to. Great. I'll be in touch. Night, then. Night. It's me. Emma, I've got a spot. Sorry? A zit on my chin. Why tonight of all nights? Well, well, that's it. I'm not going. Oh, yes, you are. Acne. At my age? So what, now your one solitary spot is acne? It's a volcano. Well, try a dab of toothpaste. Oh, perfume. Something will dry it out quickly. Oh, I've only got half an hour. OK, well, look, you've got two options. Either squeeze it and cover it with makeup. Or be upfront about it and show her that it's proof that you're still young at heart. But gotta go. Bye. It's massive. Hi, I'm so sorry I'm late. I should have texted you to say that I was running late. You, um, you must have thought I'd got cold feet. Well, another hour I would have filed a missing person. <laughs> it's just, um, well, my son phoned as I was leaving the house. And um, he's in Australia, so there's the time difference. Australia? Wow. Is he on holiday, gap year? Uh, no, 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 he lives there. Oh, right. So he's... 31. Uh, Oh. He's, uh, he's a nurse in a, in a hospital in Sydney, and uh, a patient of his had died, and he was upset. Oh. I, I couldn't just call him back. No, of course not. I can't believe you have a son almost my age. <laughs> no, I mean, you, you don't look old enough. <sighs> right. <clears throat> Ted definitely had a twinkle in his eye for you, I could tell. But it was more than a twinkle. It was open <laughs> season. No, I think he was just trying to get a connection with the job again. I see flowers in your future and maybe a card with kittens on it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> but it is easy to see how he ended up with a drinking problem, though. I mean, the canteen culture, going to the pub straight after a shift. Do you feel pressure to join in? Uh, no. But it is one way to make sure you don't take the job home with you. I know, but obliteration. Mind you, it's not just the police, is it? Mm. 
I've seen it with surgeons, therapists, GPs. Mm -hmm. The shift patterns don't exactly encourage you having a life outside the job either. Exactly. I mean, how many people do we both know who are still single? Oh, or ones with broken relationships where the job has been a factor. Mm -hmm. Although the one beacon I see is Rob Hollings. <gasps> oh. I've always looked up to him for a lot of reasons. And he has a very strong and loving relationship with Karen. Have you met her? <laughs> you could say that. I see her almost every day. She's, um, she's the receptionist at the mill. And? Um, <laughs> she's a force of nature. <laughs> Oh, the Sarge was talking about how she was hogging the karaoke at a party no one could get near. <laughs> yeah, well, she doesn't need any encouragement or a microphone. <laughs> he said she, quote, cut a sway through all the oldies but goodies, unquote. <laughs> I mean, George Michael, Brian Adams, ugh, someone I've never heard of, what are they called? Um, Duran Duran. Oh, look, I mean when I say oldies, yeah, I'm yeah, not... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean the stuff that I was listening to on my Walkman which is probably the same stuff that your mum was listening to when she was changing your nappies. What's a Walkman? <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> it was a record player. Coal powered. <laughs> Still joking. You know the age thing isn't an issue for me. And yet we keep coming back to it. <laughs> How's your food? Yeah, it's good. Vesuvius on your face. Another bottle or straight onto something sweet and sticky? Oh, you know, I think I've had enough wine. <laughs> I didn't even know if you drank or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I drink like a fish, <laughs> add some wine, and I'm sure I'm hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, do you see anything you fancy? Well, I'll be honest. The only time I order dessert at a restaurant is when the date's been a disaster. So I stuff myself with something over the top, like a pavlova or a mountain of profiteroles. And that way, the, uh, the evening hasn't been a total waste. <laughs> oh, well, that's certainly original. Yeah. <laughs> you know, desserts can be a real tell, can't they? Can they? What people order, like a slice of cheesecake with two spoons, means. Oh, you see, I would really like the cheesecake, but I don't want to look like a pig. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, what if I ordered, um, I don't know, chocolate cake? With or without cream? Single or whipped. Are we still talking about the cream? What if it was the squirty kind? This <laughs> <laughs> stuff! People are looking! <laughs> Let them! <laughs> are you ready for the ladies? Yes. Um, what do you want? Oh, I don't know. You decide. Two glasses of cassis, please. <laughs> Thank you. Good choice. Mm -hmm. So much for no more wine. <laughs> oh, it's sweet, not sickly. Mm. Mm. Well, excuse me, I'm just. <laughs> oh, I think that cassis was one too many. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you think oh. of my croissant? Oh, very nice. Oh, good. good. <laughs> and um, yeah. the cream horn, was that? Uh, um, nothing Freudian. Oh. Sometimes a cream horn is just a cream horn. Fair enough. <laughs> so, the kitchen's through there. Decaf, all right? Oh, when you said coffee, you actually, you actually meant coffee. Well, what did you think I meant? I take it last night went well? I was a little late, but 
once I got there, yes. I mean, as we started to get to know each other, I was, um, hmm. 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 Don't tell me that you broke the first date rule. Really, Zara? If you must know, we did kiss. Good girl. And it was amazing. I mean, it's one of the best I've had. I'm literally buzzing. <laughs> you sound like a lovesick teenager. Oh, come on, you know what I mean. What's that on your neck? What? Is that a love bite? What? <laughs> oh, shut up! <laughs> You're just jealous. Yes. And um, don't tell anyone about this. It's not strictly kosher. <clears throat> you know what, this <gasps> secret is dropping. Oh! You made me jump. Hmm? Guilty conscience? Actually, I was hoping I'd see you, because Aisha said you went on a date last night. Did she? Mm. And I'm a bit confused. Are you bisexual now? Because you had that thing with Gareth. Yes, thank you for reminding me. Oh, sorry. All right. If I had to give myself a label, then I would say I was pansexual. Oh. Oh, hang on. Is that the one where you're not attracted to anyone? No, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, is it the one where you're gender neutral? Or where anything goes? Look it up, Valerie. Ah, well, you've moved on from smiling, and now we are pigging out, are we? They were a gift from a patient. Mm. It would be rude not to. Oh, no. I am made of stronger stuff. Clearly. Anyway, I was looking for you. Where did you disappear to? None of your business. So, are we going to be seeing Jasmine again? Well, I could say the same. None of your business. But you won't, because you are dying to tell me. Tonight. You don't waste your time. Well, I just want to see her. What can I say? Well, you've only had one date. So? Well, just be... What? Careful? Well, uh, and that's it, being careful for the rest of my life. Sometimes, Zara, you just have to eat the damn chocolate. You see, for me, it's never really been about the gender. It's about the person. Mm -hmm. I mean, take this tea. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> well, for argument's sake, right? It's peach flavour, and I like peach flavour, yeah? I'm comfortable with it. I'm used to it. Right. But then one day, I hear about another flavour. Ah, oh, passion fruit. Right. right. <laughs> and I think, well, just because I know I like peach flavour doesn't mean I can't try passion fruit, does it? No, but are you experimenting with different flavours just for the sake of it? Oh, no. No, no, I'm... I'm just very attracted to this flavour. But wouldn't you know by now what flavour you're more suited to? Well, I like all flavours. <laughs> Always have done. <laughs> it's just that I find this passion fruit one particularly irresistible and I'd like to stick with it. Are you paying me a compliment? Well, I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> I've had better, but thanks. OK. Yeah. <laughs> you did say you were free tonight. Yeah, why? Good. I've organised a little surprise. Oh, what mm. is it? Well, it wouldn't be a surprise if I told you now, would it? Oh, all right, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had a great time. <laughs> yeah, me too. I would love to. <laughs> Oh, you know, give me a ring. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. You've only known her five minutes. Well, it's not like you've always waited for things to develop. I, I would be more cautious these days. Jumping straight into bed with someone isn't so wise. We didn't just jump into bed. We danced. What? Street dance. Jasmine took me to a class. <laughs> My God, woman, you could do yourself a mischief. It was fun. She was fun. And what about the age difference? What about it? Well, does it bother you? From what I hear, it didn't bother you when you slept with Jack Hollins. <laughs> well, that was... What, before, before you were more cautious? I 
would never do something like that now. Oh, well, maybe you should. Life is short, Zara, and I intend to make the most of it. Maybe you should too. It's me, leaving a message for the Queen of Doom. Thank you for tainting me with your cynicism. Oh, hi, this makes a change, not being first. Well, you know, I hate to be predictable. <laughs> <laughs> so, our first morning date. Oh, that's the joy of shift work. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to have? Um, uh, mm. I don't know. <clears throat> Look, it's a nice day. Fancy taking breakfast on the go? That sounds great. Yeah. OK. So, how was your shift yesterday? Uh, pretty quiet. Just a couple of drunks. Mm. Unlike us on our first teetotal date. <gasps> oh, no. I hope you don't only fancy me after a few drinks. No. <laughs> It's just back there, yeah, I... I'm teasing. I don't want you to think that I was... What, that you were embarrassed? I wasn't. But I'm not. I just feel... strangely self-conscious. I haven't felt like that in a, in a long time. You know, it's confusing. And my people stare. And sometimes it's because they're not used to seeing it, or maybe they think it's sweet. Or maybe they have a problem with it. But people look, and we carry on. Is this OK? If it is with you. The thing is, Jasmine, I like you. Quite a lot as it happens. And it feels strange because <laughs> I feel like a kid again. <laughs> I'm disorientated and. Oh, no, I've said too much and <laughs> scared you into silence. No. I'm just savouring the moment. The woman I fancy just told me she feels the same way. <laughs> Are you cold? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Favourite season? Um, that would have to be early autumn. Mm. It's still quite mild and the colours on the trees are beautiful and it has a sense of calmness about it. Nice. Oh. Summer, mm. when we have one, <laughs> full of energy, excitement, fun and barbecues. I love barbecues. <laughs> <laughs> My age really doesn't bother you. I don't know how else to say it. Age is just a number, but I mean, that's all I've got. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, the proper kids. Might go join them. Leroy? They obviously need a Mac. Yeah, and what use would you be then? <laughs> I wouldn't be your first, right? No. Uh, no, you're not. There have been others. Mm -hmm. Well, one in particular. It didn't work out, so... But we can walk before we run, can't we? Yeah. Yeah, we can walk. Call me later? Yeah. Um, do you want to join us for a nice lunch? Um, thanks, but no, there's somewhere I need to be. See that? Reed cannot wait to get out of the establishment. We should follow suit. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. Just... Emma! Hi. Look, if but... you're tired, I, I can go. Oh, but... oh uh, no, no. Uh, come in. Really? Yes. Uh, yes, come in. OK. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> See you. It's just a thank you for, well, a nice morning. Is that the only reason you came round? Well, you've <sighs> seen my place, so I thought it's only fair if I see yours. <laughs> right. Well, I'll make us a cup of tea. Great. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So did I pass the tea test? The tea test? <laughs> Come on. We all judge someone on how well they make their tea, right? Yeah, well, I suppose <laughs> I could give you a review, but um, you don't really strike me as someone who cares what other people think. I care what you think. Okay. So, are you going to give me a tour of Chez Jasmine? Um, well, it's all pretty standard. I bet there's a few surprises. No, I think you'd be disappointed. Right, well, here we have Le sitting room. Mm -hmm. Under the stairs we have Le toilet. And then uh, upstairs. Uh Directly above us, we have, um... Well, perhaps you'd like to see. Perhaps I'd like you to show me. <laughs> Forget <laughs> using tea as a judge of character. <laughs> <sighs> you okay? Yeah. What temperature have you got your heating on? It's off. It's all us, baby. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, then we're sizzling. <laughs> um, I'll, uh, I'll just be back in a sec. Okay. Oof. My, my. Oof. I'm really glad you came over. Are you? <sighs> Did you hear me? Emma, is everything okay? Oh yeah, everything's fine. There is only one thing I know that could put that sort of smile on a girl's face. Oh, is it that obvious? Blindingly. I am telling you, on a scale of one to oh, ten... Oh, spare the lurid details! I'm just jealous. How long's it been? A while. Not since, you know. Oh, yeah, sorry. Anyway. La la la, la la la, not listening. Please don't tell me you wanted to see me to talk me through the next chapter of the Karma Sutra. No. Well, what is it then? Because I have to send these forms off before lunch. Come in. I feel a bit foolish. So what's new? <sighs> Has something happened? I think so. You think so? So, you know the feelings I've been having for Jasmine. I thought they were because she had unleashed some long suppressed passion. And hasn't she? It's something else. Medical. Symptoms? Hot flushes. Fatigue. Mood swings. Well, you know what that is. Don't yes, you? I do! Irritability? It's hardly the end of the world. I know. And it should hardly have come as a surprise. Well, of course not. It it's just the timing's not great. I'm worried it's going to interfere with your afternoons of passion with Jasmine. Well, loss of libido can be an issue. Well, it didn't seem to be for you yesterday. And I certainly don't have any problems where that's concerned. Oh, of course, you sailed through your menopause, didn't you? That was different. I was unusually young. What am I, an old hag? Your words. You know the drill. A healthy diet, exercise, vitamin D supplements and cut down on alcohol. You're joking. No. A stiff drink is exactly what I need. Are you considering HRT? I'm not considering anything yet. Well, then what are you talking to me about, then? Well, I, I'd like a bit of sympathy, maybe. Oh, what? Hold your hand while you wallow in self-pity. You've come to the wrong person, I'm afraid. Well, clearly, because you are on full-on ice queen mode, so I shall just have to wallow alone. On reflection, I could perhaps have been a little more sympathetic to your current situation. Is that an apology? 
as a cup of tea. How are you? Well, at the moment, I'm coming to terms with the fact that my transcendental passion for Jasmine turns out to be the dying pangs of my fertility. Not that you're catastrophizing or anything. All right, a bit. Well, you said yourself that you had a great time yesterday. True. And you and I both know that the menopause can be a springboard to a whole new lease of life. So pull yourself together, keep smiling, and stay fabulous. Is that you being slightly more sympathetic? Yes. Can't you tell? Don't ever be a counsellor. Ever. Oh. Hi, Valerie. Emma. Are we all dressing up tonight? What? Only, it's just I thought we had a conversation yesterday where we all agreed to go dressed as movie icons. Only now I think I dreamt it, so... so are you going in fancy dress? Uh, fancy dress? No. Um, look, we just said that we were going to go smart casual, didn't we? Uh, Valerie, I have to go. Jasmine's here and, and, well, Zara's just arrived in a taxi. All right, we'll see you there. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where are you now? I'm at Emma's, but I can't get out of the cab yet because they're snogging. So? <laughs> I don't want to interrupt. <laughs> uh, tell me, what's your ETA at the Icon? Well, depends how long it takes them to come up for air. Oh, they look good together. Oh, someone sounds jealous. I am. Jasmine's stolen my wing woman. Who else am I supposed to make cutting comments with all night? Well, I could volunteer if a wing man would do instead. I suppose that will have to do. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Grab yourselves a drink. You're going to need one because Sydney has organised a silent disco. Oh, brilliant. Uh, Jasmine, this is Al. Al, Jasmine, it's his party. And I'll cry if I want to, probably <laughs> over the silent disco. Good to meet you. <laughs> Where do we get the headphones? Uh, over yonder. Oh. Enjoy. Oh, right, drink up, everybody. The ale needs to go. <laughs> You're kidding! Zara's the cute goatee boy. Mm -hmm. Ooh, no wonder Daniel dumped her. Oh, well, it was a little bit more complicated than that. <laughs> Don't you dare tell her that I told you. Oh, no. <laughs> but how old is he, the goatee boy? Sid? Mm -hmm. Probably younger than you, if that's why you're asking. <sighs> Look, I'm just trying to make conversation. How many times do I have to tell you the age gap is not an issue for me? I'm sorry, it's just... It's just what? I'll look at you. No, thanks. I'd much rather look at you. <laughs> OK, you are on. This is Perry. Perry. It, repeating it is not making it any clearer. Little Mix. Well, obviously I've heard of them, but I mean I don't know their names individually. Really? She's the one who went out with Zayn Malik oh. from One Direction. How come you know that? Because I'm a sponge. You know, a trivia sponge, soaking up interesting bits of information. Oh. Very cavalier use of the word interesting, Valerie. Well, look, forget Little Mix. Let's just go back to the Spice Girls. I mean, even you must know them. Oh, you know what? I think I need some air. Oh, no, you're not getting out of this that easy. No, no, really, Jasmine, oh, I'm not... come on. A swing it, shake it, move it, make it. I'm not in the mood. think you are? Sit. Emma? Emma? What's wrong? Are you ill? Right, you're really worrying me now. I'm gonna go get some help. No, don't! I'm not ill. I'm... menopausal. I'm going through the menopause. Oh. Oh. Yes. Gosh, I remember when my mum went through that. Oh, it seemed to go on forever. Not helping. I mean, she had a real nightmare. Yeah, again! I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. 
So I am not ill, but I am hot, I am anxious, I am confused, I am not sleeping at night, and I can't concentrate in the day, but I am not ill. I am simply menopausal, going through the menopause, which is just another bonus feature of being a woman that men don't have. You know what, I think it's best if you just leave me to it. Can we at least talk about it? No, really, I... Brother, you went. Please. Right. So, this is it then. You, me, my heart flushes, and self-medication. Well, you might as well move in. Be like a couple of spinsters with cats. Sorry, no offense. Better not be talking about me. Why do men get to be bachelors? Women have to settle for sad old spinster. What difference does it make? We're all going to die alone. Oh, come on, it's not that bad. You know, we may be pathetic, sad and lonely, but we do have our freedom. Yay for us. But tonight was supposed to be a celebration of friendship above everything else. <sighs> Let's stop feeling sorry for ourselves. <laughs> They'd wish me one more day Ooh. to spend joy be with you all. <laughs> no need to ask how your weekend went. Anything from Jasmine? Just a few non-committal texts. I'm struggling as how best to reply. There doesn't seem to be an emoji for menopause. I just put sweat. Then chocolate. Then wine. Rage, tears, and then chocolate again. <laughs> oh, come on. I just feel terrible. I mean, asking her to leave the party like that. It's not too late, surely. <laughs> I should have learnt by now not to get my hopes up. I'm a relationship disaster zone. Lottie. Did you talk to Jasmine yet? What am I gonna say? Well, you'll think of something. You can't let this go, Emma. Oh, look at the pair of us. Drinks tonight. Drown our sorrows. Lovely. Jasmine, hi. Hi. Uh, is it okay if I wait? I wasn't sure what time Emma would be done. She's free now, actually. Why don't you come through this way? She's in room one. Thanks. Um, I also bought you this. <laughs> Kim's highly recommended from my mum. Well, I, um, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Listen, Jasmine. Look, if it's about Friday, I'm... I shouldn't have done a runner. I told you to go and... Right after telling you that I'm going through the menopause. Look, I don't have a problem with that. I just didn't know how to put it in a text, so here I am. Well, you certainly didn't need to bring me flowers. I was a cow. And I was a coward. So we're even, yeah? <laughs> I can not stop thinking about you this weekend. I'm sorry. No. I can't stop thinking about you. Oh. Can we start over? Look, I've had some time to think and, um, are you sure you want to get into this with me? Yes, absolutely. It's just, you know, a lot of women have a really tough time with menopause. You know, low mood, low energy, non-existent sex drive. <laughs> Way to go, Emma. Think positive. I mean, I've heard some women have the complete opposite. They have a runaway libido. Or so my mum says. Can we please <laughs> stop talking about your mum? <laughs> Sorry, OK. But, like, I don't care about that stuff. I care about you. And I know we have a connection. You feel it too, right? Yeah. But what about the future? 
future. Oh, forget about the future. Look, let's just spend some time together. Have fun, see what happens. What are you doing tonight? If I call ahead, we might be able to get a table up front. Right by the karaoke band. <laughs> there is absolutely no way I am singing. Oh, but we can do a duet. Islands in the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hey. Hi. Perfect timing. <laughs> Can I interest you in a cupcake? Oh, no, thank you. We're going out. Thanks. You look frazzled. Oh, do I? Mm, arrestingly undone. Oh, well, I'll take that. <laughs> Shall we? Yeah. Bye. So, how was your morning? Yeah. Oh, fascinating. Two interviews, one confession, and many, many tears. Mm, not yours, I hope. Uh, one very remorseful suspect. Well, at least I think he was sorry. Yeah. For himself, probably. Mm, yeah, probably. <laughs> D.S. Baines demolished his alibi, and then he tied himself in knots trying to explain away his lies. It was a masterclass in investigative interviewing. Mm, seems like you're enjoying it. Yeah, I loved it. It's just a bit frustrating. Uh, um, shadowing's interesting, but I, I want to get stuck in. I really can't wait for my placement to start. I know, but you haven't got it yet. No, but I should hear any day now. I'd really love for D.S. Baines to be my mentor. Mm. Just don't get your hopes up. Well, she's all for it. I know, but, you know, it's not just her decision, is it? No. Now, come on, let's go in. I'm starving. <laughs> Thanks for lunch. You're welcome. Sorry if I droned on. No, not at all. Mm -hmm. Listen, um, if you're free at the weekend, oh, we could... I'm moving. Oh. I had a bust up with Camilla. Came home last night to find she'd moved the boyfriend in. <laughs> Without telling you? Yeah, I should have seen it coming. He's been lurking for weeks. Mm. You know they're throwing a party tonight to celebrate. Oh, great. Hmm. I expect his monumentally awful band will be butchering Blur again. <laughs> you know, he's still like 90s Britpop. <laughs> well, look, you can always move in with me. I mean, you know I rent rooms, so... No, thanks for the invite. Well, staying as a guest, paying rent, it's a bit weird. Yeah, OK, fair enough. <laughs> so what would you do? Go to my parents. Oh, look, is that wild? It'll do until I can find something else. You know, you should come over for lunch next week. Oh. Uh, OK. Yeah. It's a bit of a development. <laughs> Meet the parents. Ah, I have to warn you, they are a little bit eccentric. Oh, I'm sure it's nothing I can't handle. <laughs> <laughs> so, are we still on for lunch? Yeah, it'll just be Mum. Dad's busy. It's probably for the best. They are a bit much together. <laughs> you sure you still want to come? Well, yes, you did invite me. I must be out of my mind. Look, I deal with all sorts of people all of the time. I'm sure your mum will be fine. <sighs> Famous last words. Listen, I better go. I decided to make the most complicated lunch ever. Oh, yeah? What is it? Cheese on toast? Oh, seriously. I've got a list as long as my arm. Listen, by the way, have you heard anything about your placement yet? Uh, no, nothing. Well, look, try not to stress about it. Yeah, OK. Bye. Oh, I can never find anything in this kitchen. Patience, everything has its place. Oh, God. Trust the universe, darling, and it'll bring you everything you need. Right, well, I need cumin or my mjaddara is a non-starter. You know, I am going to buy you a spice rack for your birthday. <gasps> oh, thank you. At this rate, we'll be eating at midnight. I didn't realise you and this Emma were so serious. Yeah, well, we have been seeing each other for six weeks. So, why am I only meeting her now? Can't you guess? I've always been very accepting of all your girlfriends. <laughs> so has Daddy. What, even the ones you scared off? Like Libby, the one Daddy flashed. He just got out of the shower. Oh, and normal people use towels. They don't air dry. <sighs> None of those girls was right for you. Mm -hmm. I can't eat any of this. Why not? My Ayurvedic nutritionist has me on a strict detox. I can only eat lentil soup and chickpeas. Oh, now you tell me. If you need me, I'll be meditating. <laughs> oh, cheese on toast would have been much easier. Ah, Doris, I presume? Emma, darling. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, call me Lotus. <laughs> oh, OK. How wonderful to meet you. Yes, uh, likewise. Let me take your coat. Oh, OK, thank you. Uh, have we met before? You look familiar. Uh, no, no, I, I don't think so. You really are substantially older. Jasmine's always had a thing for the slightly more mature. Yeah, well, I've still got my own teeth. <laughs> but for lesbians, I suppose the pickings must be pretty slim, especially from a small town. Oh. I do find my queer friends are much more open to the idea of cross-generational relationships. Right. Is Jasmine around? Oh, yes. Somewhere. Come along, I'll fix you one of my famous gin cocktails. Oh, good. Are you a fan of art? Um, yes. Who's your favourite uh, painter? Oh, um... This is my latest piece. Oh, wow. I've always been heavily influenced by de Koning. And Miro, of course. Mm. It's a child in the womb. Right. I wanted to represent the bond with the mother. First love, first friend. Um, I know someone who, um, who had a cat who could paint. So, that's my pathology, Dr Emma. What's yours? Sorry? This relationship. Is it serious? Because Jasmine's been hurt before, and I'm very protective of my cubs. Look, I have a son, so I do understand. Oh, so you're bisexual? Yes. Well, doubles your chance of a date, I suppose. Or you're just incapable of monogamy. I can assure you I am. And it's very serious with Jasmine, at least from my perspective. I'm still convinced we've met before. Oh, probably at the mill. No, I'm not registered there. A previous life, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Lunch is served. Oh, what a salvage of it. <laughs> I'll heat up my soup. Oh, she's um, she's not eating with us. No, she's on a detox. Lentil soup and chickpeas. Ooh. Wouldn't want to be downwind of her. <laughs> <laughs> so how's it getting on? Well, she thinks that we may have met in a previous life. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> well, I didn't know you could fry salad. I had to bin everything twice and start over, OK? <laughs> you're very sexy when you're cross. Oh, I'm sexy, period. <laughs> Lunch was lovely. Oh, yeah, just wait for the toxicology report. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, um, I was just complimenting your daughter on her culinary prowess. Mm -hmm. Yes, all my children are very talented. I wonder where they get it from. <laughs> What does your son do? Uh, he's a nurse. In Australia. Oh, if Jasmine emigrated, I'd follow her to the ends of the earth. Stalker. We still have that umbilical connecting us. Remember what happened in Vietnam? Uh, yeah. I was backpacking and I got appendicitis. I woke up thousands of miles away with stomach cramps. It was total agony. Mm, it was just the cord slamming back into her. Umbilical whiplash. <laughs> <sighs> oh, sorry. Um, it's work. Uh, PC Dejani. Oh, hi, Sarge. Let's do some yoga. Oh. It empowers digestion. Well, I, I wouldn't recommend exercising on a full stomach. It's only yin yoga. Unless you have a problem with flexibility. I did struggle with that, too, during my menopause. I think you'll find I'm quite bendy enough. Uh, Lotus, I don't have any yoga clothes with... <sighs> Second pose is Simhasana. Are you familiar with it? Uh, my Sanskrit is a little rusty. Lion pose. Oh. Press your palms into your knees and splay the fingers. Like the sharpened claws of a lioness. The proud mother of a cub, perhaps. Inhale deeply. And on the exhale... And again. Once more. <sighs> this posture's very good also for bad breath. Oh. The final posture is Ananda Balasana, happy baby pose. Uh, <laughs> what's going on? Don't <laughs> interrupt, darling. I'm giving your girlfriend a lesson in yoga for digestive health. Well, hardly a lesson. I have done it before. Can we have had peppermint tea? Shh. Shh. Right, lie back. Slowly raise your legs in parallel. Flex the feet. Take hold of the big toes with the forefingers and gradually draw your knees down towards the floor. This posture is particularly good if you have a flabby tummy, which is very common during the menopause. 
that's where I've seen you before. The internet. Smears without fears. Uh, what's she on about? It was a campaign, you know, we did it at the mill and, and then it went online. Top tips to make your smear test more comfortable. Emma was the model. Or rather, her vagina was. <gasps> Seriously? No, it wasn't like that. You know, it, it was very tasteful. You didn't see anything. It was a very brave thing to do. I'm not sure even I would be that open, especially during the menopause. If she mentions the menopause one more time. I can recommend some fabulous tinctures. I found them invaluable, especially when I was feeling particularly dry. I'm sure Jasmine would find them useful too. Oh, I'm so sorry. But I am loving the new outfit. Oh, um, say <laughs> thanks to your mum for the tincture. <laughs> <laughs> Will I see you before the weekend? Uh, probably not, work's full on. You know, I was really hoping that call was from the DI. Hang in there. It'll happen. <laughs> Text me later. Yeah. You two look gorgeous together. Oh, not over the hill then. <laughs> if you make my baby girl happy, then I approve. Mm -hmm. Besides, we're like old friends now. We're of a similar vintage. Oh, less of the similar. Just promise me you won't hurt her. Mum, for goodness sake. Promise. Oh. I promise. Right, I better get going. Right, I'm so sorry. It's nice to have met you. Okay. I'm sorry. Bye. Bye. God, Mum, you are unbelievable. You're my daughter, and I wanted to make sure her intentions towards you were honourable. Seriously? <laughs> Crazy. It was hilarious. If a mother like that, I'm amazed Jasmine turned out to be so normal. Yes, me too. I mean, everything was up for discussion, and I mean, everything. Oh, yes? Yes, my age, my sexuality, my... What? Jasmine's mother recognised me from the Smears Without Fears video. No. Yes, and she didn't just mention it in passing, either. <gasps> poor Jasmine. Poor Jasmine? What about me? Oh, yes, poor you, too. Anyway, I'm sure we'll have a good old laugh about it. If I see her. Really? Oh, well, she's just been really busy with work. I'm turning into a police widow. So, this is serious, then. With me and Jasmine? Mm hmm Maybe. Hello, I'm so happy for you. Thanks. After everything that's happened. Yes. Right, I'd better go out to the campus. I'll see you later. See you later. Hi, it's me. Uh, listen, I just wanted to let you know that I've managed to book that Thai restaurant for tomorrow night. Oh, that's great. How'd you get us in there? Oh, you know. I have my ways. Everything all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Bit of a complicated case. On the surface, it seems straightforward. We could get a result. But... Mm, you're worried it might be the wrong result? Yeah. Mm, what does Rob say? Uh, leave it with CID, play it by the book. Yeah, well... I'd listen to him. He's usually right. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Emma. Oh, look, I've got to go. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Have you heard back from the DI? No, not yet. Maybe I should give her a call. Word of advice. There's a fine line between keen and pushy. How about patience? <coughs> Come on. Let's go home. All right! <gasps> All right! <laughs> Wow, ring the bell if your girlfriend is hot. <laughs> <laughs> Come in, stop being so daft. I'm not being daft. You look. Wow. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. If um, only I thought to buy you a gift. Aww. It's just a little something. It's not exactly Tiffany's, but after the experience with my mum. <laughs> you shouldn't have. It's lovely. Oh, help me put it on. Oh. It's ever so sweet of you. Thank you. <laughs> right, I have got some fizz on ice, so shall mm -hmm. we? Do we have time? Yes, table's not booked till 7.15. Taxi is ordered, so oh, you have it all under control. I'm impressed. Cheeky. <laughs> I will have... Oh, I'll have the Bangkok sling, please. Um, the Mai Tai Punch for me. Thanks. Oh, I have to 
after a long week, this is so needed. You know, if I spent another moment in the house with my mum fussing. Right? <laughs> well, this weekend is going to just be about you and me, and we are going to make the most of it. Mm, perfect. <laughs> this one, is it? Yes, here we are. Right. This is the uh, best table you've got, I hope. I did ask for the best table when I made the reservation. Derek, it's a table and it's lovely, thank you. <clears throat> yeah, I wonder if you could bring a bottle of champers ASAP. Of course. Celebrating our 35th anniversary. <laughs> or, or, or commiserating. Depends on which one of us you ask. Oh, ah! Derek, shush. Do you think it's too late to move? Oh, come on. Oh, she's Derek. been shushing my <laughs> jokes, but... <laughs> for a lifetime. But you keep telling them. <clears throat> Let them look, right? <laughs> Please don't freeze me out. We can get through this if we stick together. Please, Emma, Emma, wait. No, I just... You're I... angry with me. What? You blame me. No. Then look at me. Are we going to be okay? No, wait, 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 wait. I really want to take a picture of them. Well, we could just drink them. Don't be a grouch. <laughs> what are you going to do with a photo of two drinks? OK, well, why don't we take one with us, innit? Yeah, yeah. OK. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Hi. Do you mind taking our photo, please? Yeah, uh, actually, miss, uh, uh, none of us are very good at taking photos. Oh, it's OK. Well, we're not very good at posing for them, either. <laughs> no, no, we'd... Uh... Just rather not. It's just a photo, Derek. No, no, it, it, it's all right. We'll, um, we'll get a waiter to take it. I, I think that's best. And why is that? Jasmine. No, I'd like to know what the real issue is. Do you need to see a doctor? No. I'm OK. You're not? I'm sorry. What for? I should have been able to handle this situation. I meant to be trained for this. I was, I was useless. I just, I froze. We both did. <laughs> did we provoke them? You mean apart from existing? Yeah. We need to report this to the police. We, we should have gone straight there. The, the sooner we report it, the quicker they can take some action. Right, come on. <laughs> what? It's just ironic. What is? That now you want to speak up. Come on, we can survive without a photo. Yeah, well, obviously, but it's not the photo that's the problem. It didn't mean anything. Look. I know we live in a modern world, but some of us like to remain traditional. That's all. We were asking you for a photo, not your approval. OK, let's just enjoy our meals, shall we, and move on? That sounds sensible to me. <laughs> Anything for my Viv? That's how we've survived 35 years as man and wife. She knows best. Come on. Let's just order some more cocktails and look us on having a good evening. Mm -hmm. Right. I feel it only fitting that I mark this occasion with a few words. Oh, Derek, don't. No, don't worry. Till death do us part, Viv. Here's to us. Dave, Dave, uh, take a photo. Hypocrites. Congratulations. You congratulated a man like that. What was I supposed to do? Don't give him the time of day. I was keeping the peace. You, uh, you have to pick your battles. Oh, and are you the expert? OK, we can talk about this when we get back from the stage. No, I knew we should have moved tables. You develop a sixth sense for people like that. 
but most of your life has been living under the cover of heterosexuality, so... All oh, right, I see. Of course, because as a woman, I've never had to think about potential threats. Oh, well, add being a lesbian and Middle Eastern. Why are you making this a competition? To make you understand! I've been picking my battles for most of my life. If I speak up, will I be labelled a troublemaker, a, a snowflake? Will I be made out to be the problem? Right, I get it. No, you don't. Because you congratulated him. Look at me. Look at me. This happened to me. Us. Which is why we shouldn't be arguing. We should be at the station. No. What? I don't want to report this. Not quite the evening we were hoping for. Mm, you can say that. What an idiot. I know, but at, at least the, the food and the cocktails were good. Yeah, I mean, we should come back here again without the side order of homophobe. <sighs> Nothing we could have said would have changed his mind. Well, and that's OK, is it? Oh, of course it's not OK. Thanks. Excuse me. Sorry. I wanted to apologise if Derek offended you. He can be a bit tactless. His lack of tact wasn't the problem. He's a good man, really. He is. Bit of an idiot sometimes, but... Sorry. No, no. no it's us who should apologise. No. Emma. Oh, really, we're just sorry that you have a husband you need to apologise for. Enjoy the rest of your night. Come on, let's find somewhere where we can dance. Mm, and definitely more drinks. Oh, yes, lots more <laughs> drinks. <laughs> First, you're mad at me because I didn't speak up. And now, you don't want me to. Let me explain. I'm all ears. I can't wait to hear why a police officer doesn't want to report a hate crime, particularly as the police have a zero-tolerance policy. Look, from the moment I joined, I fought to be respected. I've worked hard to be good at my job. Then do the right thing. <gasps> report it. But then everyone will know. They'll know that I couldn't defend myself or protect you. Well, you, you shouldn't have had to. I should! If there was a medical emergency and you'd froze and couldn't help, would that make you a good doctor? What, what, what would your colleagues say? Would you want them to know? You're being too hard on yourself. You think I should have done more, don't you? <laughs> now you're being unreasonable. <laughs> OK. Reason? One in five LGBTQ people experience a hate crime, two in five for trans people, and while crimes are on the rise, prosecutions are on the decline. I can help those people, even if I couldn't help us. And what are the stats for unreported crimes? Emma, to make this OK, I need to do my job. For me, but for other people like us. I'm a protector, I am not a victim. This crime doesn't define you. Really? So when I'm up for a promotion, you don't think they'll bring this into question? Hang on. Is this about you protecting people or, or about your ambition? They're the same thing. You think your career is more important than getting justice for what happened to us? Seriously? <laughs> you are ridiculous, and so are those dance moves. Oh, you know I've got the moves. <laughs> oh. Well, you might have had them, but you haven't got them anymore. Uh, boy! <laughs> Where to next? Well, uh, we could find another bar. Mm -hmm. uh, or we could just go home. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is it a taxi? <laughs> Why is there never anyone you need one? Come on, let's walk to the rank. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, ladies, do you need a ride? She's not old enough to drive, are you? I'm old enough for plenty of things. Yeah, and we're interested in none of them, thanks. <sighs> oh, come on. At least let me watch. It's a definite no, all right? Back off. Chill out. Relax. Jasmine, this happened to us. And trying to sweep it under the carpet for whatever reason helps no one. You know that. You're scared. You're not thinking straight. I'm not scared. Really? I am. While they're still out there, I'm terrified. What if our paths cross again? Or, or they attack another couple or, or a woman on her own, only next time it's worse, but we could have done something. You say you want to protect people. Look, I'm exhausted. Can we just sleep on it? No. No, Jasmine. Yes. I can't sleep, not while this is hanging over us. Please, Jasmine. Why did this have to happen to us? What do we do? Just ignore them. Tell me and I'll leave you alone. You know I can't. Jasmine. I'm talking to you. Jasmine. 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 Call the police. No. Are you all right? Please just take me off. Please take me off, please. Okay. Is it a full moon tonight? <laughs> Did it bring out all the homophobes? Now, have you not been listening to me? I can still smell his aftershave. The man who hated us enough to do this. Who felt he should or could attack us just because we're gay. We have to show that we won't stand for it. This is how. So regardless of my feelings, you're going to make a report. And if you do no, no, this... No, 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 no. You don't get to give me an ultimatum. You have the choice. We either report this together or I will do it alone. NHS discussion forums. Like they've got nothing better to do with their lives. I mean, I personally somehow managed to find the time to release my best mate from the claws of injustice. Hmm? What? Yes, whatever. Have you heard from Emma? <sighs> Why would I? She hasn't returned my call since Friday. Perhaps she has managed to find herself a social life, something that you should consider. <laughs> you don't 
have to be here if you need some more time. I just want to get on with my job. How's Emma? Can we just get this over with? Well, I've read your witness statement and Emma did the right thing reporting it. So did you. You've done nothing wrong. You're the victim and that's nothing to be ashamed of. And I've also read your occupational health medical report. And they both say I'm fine to work. Yes, they do if that's what you want, but not on the streets. What? Not with those injuries. But I'm fine. You don't look it. I can't send an officer out there who looks like she's... Well, she's been beaten up. Yeah. Sorry. So if you do want to work, that's fine, but it's office duties for now. You can use my desk. Oh, so you can keep an eye on me? You haven't heard anything more from Emma? No, nothing. Do I need to call her? No. No. I might pop round at lunchtime, just make sure she's OK. Sure. Send her our best wishes. Of course. <clears throat> what? Is there a problem? Didn't you call me? You know I'd have been here in a moment. I know you would. That's why I didn't call. Are you going to tell me what happened? No. But was it an accident? You look awful. Thank you. Sorry. You know that's not what I meant. It wasn't an accident, Tara. It was deliberate. Very deliberate. And very personal. It's disgusting. I thought that sort of thing was gone for good. It never goes away because we let it stay. You make it sound as though homophobia is suddenly acceptable. No, not suddenly. And I didn't say acceptable. It's just that it's not taboo anymore, is it? You know, people have been given permission to act on their hatred and their prejudice. You are so brave to report this. Maybe. Definitely. Jasmine hates me for it. What? Why? She didn't want anyone at work to know, and I reported it, so... She'll understand. Really? She's not talking to me. She was dragged into occupational health, and she is furious. I think I've lost her, Sarah. I'm not a victim. Technically you are. I'm not. And if I take that, that's how I'll be treated by you, by everybody out there, by the DI. She will understand because what happened to you wasn't your fault. It was nothing, OK? Nothing I can't handle. The CID need to know that. Otherwise, they're just going to fob me off all over again. Look, I'll do your filing, your rotors, whatever paperwork you want me to do, but I am not going home. And when you think I'm more presentable, then I'll be back out there on the streets. Look, I've been beaten up, humiliated, 
but I refuse to be the victim, all right? And you don't get to humiliate me all over again. Hmm. A word of advice and forget about getting back out on the streets for a minute. If you want to get on in this building, then you need to watch your tone, constable. And don't you forget that I can have a word with occupational health and I can recommend to them that you need some quiet recovery time at home. Do you understand? Yes, Sarge. Emma. Zara, can you tell Bear that I'm still sick, please? Mm. Okay. How are you doing? I'm on my way to an appointment at Victim Support. <laughs> well, that's positive. Maybe. I hope so. Dare I ask how's Jasmine? Look, you know that you can talk to me any time. Yeah, I know. Look, I better go. Um, I'll talk to you later, yeah? Take care. Bye. I keep asking myself, what would I say if, if this had happened to a patient of mine? What would I say to them? And I'd say, you were a victim of a hate crime. You were attacked because you were on a date with another woman and seen kissing. Just kissing. In public. And I'd say, what happened is wrong. And it is wrong. I'd say it was unfair and, and it is unfair. And I'd, I'd say that they were completely justified in feeling scared and angry and I am. I am so scared and angry. <laughs> but as much as anything, I'm... I'm angry with Jasmine. I'm furious with her. We've hardly spoken since it happened and... <sighs> then maybe we were never really going anywhere, I don't know, but... It had... She had started to mean something. And now... Now I... I don't even know who she is. Hey. Hey. Sorry I never replied to your text. It's OK. It, uh, has given me a chance to think. That sounds a bit ominous. <laughs> um... I'm sorry. And I love you. Jasmine. They're lovely. Thank you. I spoke to the DI this morning. She said the attack should affect my CID application. Oh. Well, that's good. I'm glad. You don't seem glad. Let's go inside. Please don't say we need to talk. Please, please. Don't do this. We never really talked about a future together. But that doesn't mean I don't think we have one. Look, this is just a reaction to the attack. We were having a good time before this, weren't we? Yes, we were, but it, it's not about the attack. I just think we want different things. So we can compromise. Not on the big things. The things that really matter. I mean, for example, do you want children? Uh, not right now, but at some point, yeah. Well, I've had mine. And if you want children, then it can't be with me. 
You're breaking up with me. Oh, I can't believe... You're actually breaking up with me. I don't want to. Really, I don't. But we want different things, and I don't know what else to do. You're trying to make this about something that it's not. No, it's because we want different things. Oh, rubbish! It's because I didn't do anything when those thugs attacked us. No, it's not about that, although you didn't do anything after the attack, and that's what really gets me. I mean, anyone can freeze in the moment. I don't blame you for that. Then what do you blame me for? For not wanting to report it. You're always going on at me about thinking more about LGBT issues. LGBTQ+. And yet, when it might affect your career, oh, then you want to play it down. That's not fair. I mean, what does that say about your integrity? <laughs> Never mind anything else. Emma, I thought you were more principled than that. Look, I don't want to be the, the lesbian cop. I mean, it's bad enough being the Middle Eastern cop. I am sick of being put in diversity boxes. Then don't allow people to label you. I never do. I don't allow people. I get labelled whether I like it or not. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to belittle your experience. But you did. And I'm sorry. I heard you the first time. Please don't hate me. Please don't dump me. Jasmine. Are you sure? Like, really, really sure? I'm coming off as a little bit desperate here. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit. <laughs> Look, Jasmine, for what it's worth, for the best thing that's happened to me in a very long time. I'm so sorry. Thank <laughs> you.